Okay, I want to wish everybody, first and foremost, a good Shabbos. Um, Chai and I are thinking about everybody. And we know that it's it's been a while, and um, we know that uh, this isn't easy. Um, and it's hard for different people in different ways, whether you're living alone or you've got a lot of little kids or there's tough stuff going on at work. Um, everybody feels it a little bit differently. Um, and I know that it's hard. It really is. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of a message of hope uh, from the end of Sefer Vayikra, the end of the Tochacha. The Tochacha is, of course, a section of the Torah that's got some really rough stuff in it about how the Jewish people, as we eventually did, would have to leave the land of Israel and they would suffer under the hands of their enemies and they would go through things like diseases and plagues and all kinds of other really um, difficult experiences, crises. And then the Torah says at the end that there's always, there's always a light at the end of every title, at the end of every tunnel. And the Pasuk says as follows, that Hashem's going to remember the covenant he made with our forefather Jacob. And the covenant of Isaac as well. And I will remember the covenant I made with the first of the patriarchs, with Avram Avinu, and I'll remember the land as well. And that's the beginning of a series of verses, of a series of psukim, of nechama, of consolation, and of hope, and of some comfort. And of course, going back to that verse that I just cited for you, there's an obvious question which the Medrash poses. It says, again, I will remember the covenant of Jacob, and even the covenant of Isaac, and I will remember the covenant of Abraham, and I will remember the land. Many times in the verse, it says that God will remember Jacob, Abraham, the land, and yet it skips over that middle clause. It doesn't say, Vigamis brisi Yitzchak ezkor. And the question is, why doesn't God remember, like he does, the covenant of Jacob and the covenant he made with Abraham and the land itself? It doesn't say, Vaafes brisi Yitzchak ezkor. Where is the zechira? Where is the remembrance? So the Sifra, the Medrash Halacha, answers, I think, in a really important way. The covenant of Isaac is not remembered because God doesn't need to remember it. You see, Yitzchak, Isaac, he was the one who was prepared to sacrifice the most for Hashem of anybody else. That was Akedat Yitzchak. That was when he was willing to make you know, the ultimate sacrifice. And because he was prepared to make that sacrifice for Hashem, Hashem never forgot that. It doesn't, he doesn't need to remember that. He never forgot that. And so we can't compare ourselves, maybe anybody but the frontline physicians, who really have been prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice, to sanctify God's name, to save their fellow human beings. We can say that that's been our measure of sacrifice, but by our standards, the way that we were used to living, we've sacrificed a lot. And we've done it because it's the right thing to do, because it keeps us safe, and our families safe, and our neighbors safe, and our community safe, and helps keep this country safe. We did it because it's the right thing to do, but it's hard. You know, it's hard in different ways, and we feel it in different ways. But for those who make sacrifices, and yes, to bring honor to Hashem's name, that this is the way Jewish people behave, this is the way Torah Jews behave, God doesn't need to remember that. That's something that God can never forget. And so for everybody who's making these sacrifices right now, we have to remember that those are things that Hashem never forgets. And so I encourage everybody just to keep it up. And to remember that just like at the end of the Tokacha, that terrible passage of rebuke, there's always hope and there's always light at the end of every tunnel. There will be light in the right time at the end of this tunnel. And until then, stay strong, stay healthy, and stay hopeful because one day we'll all be back together again. Wish everybody a wonderful Shabbos.